Here are 10 horror movies you didn't know are based on true stories. Number 1. The Conjuring. Ed and Lorraine Warren were famous for working as paranormal investigators before their most renowned case was transformed by director James Wan into a nostalgic haunted house movie, catapulting them into the ranks of the world's most renowned ghost hunters. Few others in their field can boast of having sparked the creation of the most successful horror franchise in history, The Conjuring Universe. The first film in the franchise draws direct inspiration from the Warrens' account of their investigation into supernatural phenomena at a decaying farmhouse in Rhode Island in 1971. Number 2. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Within ultra-religious circles, exorcisms remain a very real and current practice. The Exorcism of Emily Rose is based on true events. In 1975, a young German woman named Annalise Michelle started experiencing seizures and hallucinations. At the request of her Catholic parents, two local priests performed numerous exorcism rituals until she eventually died due to malnutrition. As a result, her parents were charged with negligent homicide. Number 3. Annabelle. Its origins trace back to a raggedy and doll gifted to a young nurse. However, after a series of mysterious and disturbing events, including a traumatic encounter with the nurse's boyfriend, she sought the assistance of a medium, who claimed that the doll was now inhabited by the spirit of a deceased seven-year-old named Annabelle Higgins. According to the tale, the doll was cursed by a demonic entity and has been connected to violent attacks and at least two near-death incidents. The allegedly haunted Raggedy Ann doll is now kept in the occult museum owned by paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. A message placed under her glass case firmly warns, warning, positively do not open. Number 4. Zodiac. Anyone with an interest in true crime is acquainted with the Zodiac Killer, who instilled fear in San Francisco during the 1960s through a series of unsolved murders. However, David Fincher's chilling masterpiece focuses less on the actual killings, although he disturbingly reenacts several of them, and more on the enigmatic journey the killer initiated with his perplexing puzzles and coded messages sent to the press. Number 5. 10. Rillington Place. Speaking of London's most infamous serial killers, John Christie is possibly only surpassed by Jack the Ripper. A seemingly ordinary postman, Christie terrorized the city during the 1940s and 50s, strangling at least eight women, including his own wife, and concealing their bodies within the walls of his Notting Hill flat. Number 6. Poltergeist. This movie draws inspiration from a real-life haunting. In the 1950s, the intriguing case of the Hermann House in suburban Long Island captivated the nation's attention as the family sought help from a paranormal investigator to examine peculiar occurrences, such as bottles popping without cause and objects moving on their own. Number 7. Fire in the Sky. The film recounts the story of Travis Walton, who alleges that he was abducted by aliens on November 5, 1975, while traveling back home to Snowflake, Arizona, with some colleagues. For five days, Walton remained missing before eventually reappearing. He documented his encounters in a book titled The Walton Experience, which was subsequently republished and renamed Fire in the Sky after the movie adaptation was released. Number 8. A Nightmare on Elm Street. Wes Craven's 1984 film revolves around a murderer who targets his victims while they are asleep. In a Vulture interview commemorating the film's 30th anniversary, the late Craven revealed that the movie's concept drew inspiration from articles in the Los Angeles Times. These articles covered the tragic deaths of young male Southeast Asian refugees who passed away in their sleep. The men would avoid sleeping due to terrifying nightmares they believed could lead to their demise, resulting in a total of 26 deaths during their sleep in 1981. Number 9. Winchester. Helen Mirren portrays a heiress, Sarah Winchester, in the supernatural thriller directed by Michael and Peter Spierig. The film draws its inspiration from the true story of the Winchester Mystery House, a historical landmark located in San Jose, California, and once the residence of the late Sarah Winchester. This enigmatic house has remained shrouded in mystery due to its continuous renovations and reports of paranormal activity. The Winchester Mystery House is now open for tours. Number 10. The Haunting in Connecticut. Back in 1986, 
the Snedeker family decided to rent a house in Connecticut, only to discover later that it was once a mortuary. Demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren pronounced the house to be infested with malevolent entities. The encounters faced by the Snedeker family served as the inspiration for the haunting experiences endured by the Campbell family in the movie. It may be comforting to reassure yourself that it's only a movie but remember, for some people, it is all a terrifying reality. Would you see these movies again now?